this is it, the final level. Uh, I started this roulette December 24th, 2020. And now, on April 25th, 2022, I'm going to generate the final level. I will do whatever it is. Let's just let's see what it is, man. Oh my god! What? Are you for real? It's actually Zodiac? What even say to that, bro? What even say to that? It's actually Zodiac. I'm just in shock right now. I'm in shock that it's actually Zodiac. This list was generated so long ago. Doggy, how long have you known? Fun layout. You knew forever, right? Because I gave you the thing. You knew all the way back then in like 2020, you knew that this was going to happen years later. Bro, that's so insane. That is insane. I'm feeling many emotions. On one, the one hand, I'm very glad we're ending it on like a bang. You know what I mean? Like a, like a really big level to finish it. But on the other hand, I have to beat Zodiac. Jesus Christ. Not anticlimactic at all. You cannot say that. This is absolutely for the content right here, dude. I've been waiting to type this. My history with Zodiac is a long one. Way back when Tech was trying to do it. I wanted to join the race, but I couldn't handle the pressure. I, I ended up getting to, I'm in no coastal. I'm not in no coastal. I just didn't have the, uh, I don't know, I, I, did, I didn't have it in me. I folded and let Tech really kind of take it away. But I guess it's my turn. Zodiac was probably, I don't want to say the height of our friendship, but we definitely spent the most time with each other during Zodiac. So it's kind of poetic that I'm finishing this by finishing what he did all those years ago. It's been, it's been a very long time, but I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll have to probably get better at the game to beat a level of this difficulty. I, I'm just, this is surreal. I, I, I don't even know. What an insane generation of levels. I think it's fitting that I do this. I mean, Zodiac was the level back when I was like considered good at the game. As for how long this is going to take me, only time will tell, but I am not as good as I was. And I may, I don't know how good I even can be. My eyes are not in the condition they were, but I do believe this is the, probably my best bet on the top 20 for beating a new level. It's also just nostalgic for me. I will have a new hardest chat. It's real. Official new hardest coming soon. <laughs> yeah, imagine it was carnage mode, bro. Would it actually be carnage mode if I, skip, if I, Oh my god, bro. Top 10 most anticlimactic finishes ever. Why is this part so hard? Bro, I do not want to do this at the end of the level. Okay, I, I, I get it, I think. Damn it, I still died. Dude, Arctic Lights was one of the easier ones, honestly. Like, no disrespect, but when a level doesn't hurt my eyes, it's a lot easier for me to deal with. The difference isn't, like, the pulsing. It's about sensory overload. That's the that's the problem for me. That's why Chromatic took me so much longer. There's just so much going on on the screen. The single worst level I ever had to do was probably Oro. I... Hate Oro. Hate. No, Zodiac's gonna be the entire part 15. At, at part 16. It's gonna be part 15 and then the finale. And then I plan to make a video where I combine all the different parts. And then um, after every part ends, like it switches to like me after the fact talking about how I felt about each level and placing them like on a tier list of all levels that I played during the roulette. It's gonna be a long ass video. <laughs> the way thing I hold the first two and then click normally for the last two. That's so weird. Why? You're dumb, doggy. I like I don't want to be an asshole, but you're stupid and you're dumb. No offense. I just think you're kind of a, like a gigantic idiot. Zero offense though. If you take offense that you're dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna do this on purpose. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dude, phone battery's gotten so much better just even in the past few years. My phone rarely dies ever now. Okay, back when I was in high school though, I had like an iPhone 8 and it died every two seconds because it was I, I had it for like my entire life and it like it just it just hated being on for more than like two hours before it being at like 40%. Dude, my iPhone 6 used to die in like literally an hour because it once fell in the toilet and I had to like revive it using rice, but the battery life was never the same. The phone rice, it works, it's real. I don't really know why, but Hey. No. 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 That, yeah, that, that's that's gonna be a common one. My title is gonna be like Zodiac 79 times 45 or something. Dude, if you live in Columbus and you haven't been to North Market, I would just like, I don't, I don't know what to say to you. You're just wasting your life. You're actually wasting your life. Okay, so North Market's like a place where like a bunch of like really good like chefs and other like food related people gather. It's so good. Every time I go to North Market, I leave just in shock. Dude, I'm like the judges on Food Wars where they like, like turn into like a broccoli head or something when they eat something so good and then they'll like transport it into the wilderness because of how good the food was. That was me when I ate at North Market every time, bro. 
Oh my god, I'm capable of not being an idiot? What? Come on, you can do it. I know you've learned. You dumb, dude! Stupid! I can't do Enlex! Dude, it's literally the hardest part of the entire level is the ship of Enlex. Failure and TMN combined have nothing on these four clicks, bro. It's, it's can't be done. Cause look, I did I did it. I'm like a genius. Oh my god! Dude, okay, well, you get I guess it's uh, that was a learning experience. I learned something about that that thing. Dude, I was fine going out of team man, but that was kind of a dumb way to go. Dude, every sick Hoopin Circles matchup, like, it forces me to, like, think about how old I am. I feel like every time I listen to one of those, it's like, damn, I'm 19 years old. That's that's how I feel after listening to a sick Hoopin Circles mashup, because I just do not get it, bro. What are you listening to, bro? Like, seriously, what is this? Oh, that's so annoying! I hate that death. Wow, I hate that death. I hope that never happens to me ever again in my entire life. Wait, really? I think I gotta peep this. I gotta peep this. Challenge list. Looks normal to me. Third page. Oh! There it, yes! Challenge list! Come on! What? Oh, dude. No. Oh, yeah, that's just not the. That's just, that's just the wrong Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy game box. Oh my god! Let's go. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get challenge points here. What? I thought it was an auto! Click the last page and scroll down. Okay. <laughs> Turner. Turneris? Why? Why? Yoshi Island? Dude, what are these names, bro? What? There's another rated level! How could this have happened? I thought it was like ID based. Why is it name based? Dude, I was thinking about that last night. That's gotta be one of the unlikeliest things to ever happen to me, bro. I was literally walking down a flight of stairs. I don't even credit that to me being like intelligent or anything, bro. I was literally just walking down a flight of stairs and then it happened. It's like, I don't know. It's like actual divine intervention, bro. It's like God was like, he needs content, bro. Like actually. I really, I mean, I thought of it, obviously, but I, I, I feel like I didn't even think of it. Like, it just happened to me. I wonder if an idea like that even exists anymore. An idea like the roulette isn't conceptual until it is, right? Like, now that it's here, it seems obvious, right? Like, it's like, oh, well, yeah. But, like, I wonder if any ideas like that, like, useful for content will ever exist ever again. I don't know. I'm going to... Ew. I'm so dumb with this, bro. There's a thing in my thing, right? Right? You get me? There's, like, a thing in my thing, and I can't... The thing. The bar I ate had almonds in them, and now there's an almond thing in my thing. I have like a retainer, and it's in there. The almond is in there, bro. Do you get me? Are we speaking the same language here, guys? Dude, I'm, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind, bro. Dude, oh. this is like the worst thing ever. This is the worst thing to ever happen to a human being ever. I got an almond piece stuck in the thing. Yeah, Holocaust survivors when they see that I have an almond piece stuck in my top retainer. Can't imagine the pain you're going through right now. Bro. This stupid almond piece, bro. This is how I become a villain right here. This almond piece is gonna make me a villain, bro. Yeah, almonds are scary, bro. You do not mess around with these, apparently. If this almond piece is still stuck in my retainer by tomorrow, expect me to just come up to your house and kill you tomorrow. That's what you should expect. Because I'm gonna I'm gonna have turned into like a super villain overnight over this almond piece in my top retainer. <laughs> Marvel's what if what if I didn't have an almond piece in my mouth? Yeah, it's like the most drastically different from all of them. Like me saying that I had an almond piece in my mouth, like sent a glitch through the system that like accident like like stopped nuclear launch codes from coming out or something like my vocal cords randomly went on the same frequency as like the nuclear launch code system and just like stop them from activating or something oh I gotta tell you, you know exactly what happened, bro. You know exactly what just went down. All right, so what's the moral of the story, guys? Never eat an almond ever again. What if I beat it one or ten from practice? I mean, it's my roulette, right? If I if I pull it, Dorami Yadagarasu, and beat it in one or ten from practice, I'm just gonna count it and move on. If I beat it in any way, in any situation where I go from zero percent to hundred percent without dying, then there you go. With that logic, you can just no clip. No, that's with your logic, not my logic. Because if you go into a spike, even if you're no clip, it counts it as a death, and it shows you later i'm saying if i get from the beginning to the end without dying then i beat it okay fine speed hack i didn't bring that one up that's fair all right how about this smart asses if i make it to the end of the level in the exact length of time from the beginning to the end for the exact length of time that the level lasts without dying then i beat it botting doesn't count that's not me i'm saying if i get from zero to the end that's if a bot does it that's not me how could that possibly count be the bot and then what i'm kind of already doing i guess i'm like my own bot actually triumphs all the other bots made i'll just complete the impossible levels myself I've been
can hold him back. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I can actually do uh, a thousand FPS frame purpose consistently. Yeah, they call me the fourth variant. So I, I need I need to chill with my the third variant jokes. I'm pretty sure the the day after it came out, at least 30% of every joke that I made on stream had something to do with the third variant. It's just so easy to make fun of, right? It's so easy, dude. Hi. This guy came in with a high question mark. What's up? How are you? Oh, wait, no, that's a real question. Wait, both of those are. Am I stupid? That's another question. Was that Eternal Behemoths thing? I don't know. Bro, I, I own Eternal Behemoths. So what happened was, I think like the day the level dropped. Do you remember when me and me and Tech were on Viper and Stream and we like were making like our icons and like doing like creator challenges and stuff? Well, before before Viper started his stream, I because we, we were both streaming uplifted to, uh, to YouTube so that he could use uh, our streams for the thing. And so we, we were just playing the game before. So I did, I did a fraction of Eternal Behemoths because it like just drop that day or something and then randomly like yesterday youtube's like you own eternal behemoths congratulations because apparently my unlisted footage in this stream is like the first footage to ever surface on eternal behemoths so apparently now i own it nice dude there we go tmn to 100 Y'all didn't see nothing. Y'all didn't see nothing. Shut up! Shut up. How about that? That did not happen. What are you guys even talking? I don't literally don't know what you guys are talking about. Yes, dude. No, why? Dude, it was like unavoidable with how I jumped, bro. Like, what the hell? Who even cares? Who even cares that I passed it? It literally doesn't matter because I immediately blew it to the dumbest thing. Yeah, tips for picking up ladies. If you're not constantly talking in one-liners, there you have no chance. Everything that comes out of your mouth has to be a one-liner. You cannot communicate in any other way. Otherwise, you will never interact with a female again in your entire life. Trust me, I'm like, I'm, a, I'm an expert. Once when I was riding home from the bus, I, I heard a guy talking to a girl who clearly wasn't interested, but he was still talking to her. And he, he was saying some stuff I thought only existed on Reddit. At one point, he said to her, you know, it's crazy. People call me the funniest yet sweetest guy they've ever met. Isn't that crazy? He said that at one point. I, I, that's just what I needed, by the way. That was like a terrible day. That was an absolutely terrible day. But hearing that, that really that really just kind of put everything in perspective for me right there. You know what I mean? Like, at least I'm not that guy. I mean, that was back when everyone was wearing masks, right? I mean, I, I was smiling. A, a comically large grin was on my face, let's say. And then he like told some story about eating in a super expensive meal in like Turkey or something. That was his next move. I really thought that only existed on Reddit. What? My strat didn't work. Oh no. I think I'm gonna make a tweet about this or like try to contact someone because I'm not really very good at this sort of stuff. I want to, in preparation for Return Zero, have like a 20 minute like a uh, stamina mega mix level made. Like uh, if you've ever played Osu Mania before to like a, a high level, there's a lot of like um, a lot of maps that are just like a combination of a lot of stamina maps. But it's not as easy as just sticking the parts together because of like colors, optimization, that sort of stuff. And GD doesn't really handle 20 minute levels that well. And I'm not really too smart with that sort of stuff. So I'm probably gonna try to get someone to help. I think that would be really helpful for me. If I was given one chance to say something everyone would hear to get the most subs possible, what would I say? Oh, God, that's like, you're putting me on the spot here, I wonder. It's gotta be something so absurd that you're forced to check me out. Like, you have to. I can't say anything too absurd, though, because then I'm gonna get, like, hate mobbed. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure if I was able to broadcast a message to every person ever, no matter what I say, I will get assassinated. If 7 billion people heard me say anything, bro, I am pretty much instantly dead. Some like religious nut job is gonna assume that because I'm able to say something, I'm like like an extension of the devil or something and I need to be like assassinated ASAP. Oh my God, imagine I just said something with the sole purpose of riling up as much confusion as humanly possible. I would never do it because I would like, the effects of some of the stuff that you could say could kill millions. I am real. Oh my god. But who is he? Who's I? Which religion claims the I? Oh my god, bro. That's a that's an insane line. Oh my god. I should just say, I am Jesus and I like men. And then say nothing else and watch every single like Christian hyper religious like homophobic person just crumble into pieces, bro. It'd be insane. No, why did I click so early? Dude, you know, I have every Gen 1 Skylander. I, I told this story before, I'm sure. The reason I knew that I didn't have an obsession problem, even when I was young, is because when I was young, Skylanders came out and I, I set a goal for myself. I was going to try to get every single thing, every single uh, figure. I did that. I completed it. And then they came out with another game and I decided, nope, I'm not going to do that because I don't have the money and it's, it would just take too much time. So I'm just going to stop there. The hardest one to get by far was, it was a water type. I don't even remember. I don't even remember the name anymore. It was too long ago, but they discontinued 
discontinued it like very shortly after they made it so there's only like a few of them left that was the hard one to find it was like in some random ass like bargain bin like in a in a store like that we just happened to be in my parents love shopping one of the reasons i never liked shopping when i was like when i first became an adult parents would always go to these different stores all over the place and buy this and that but they love shopping bro they love it so much so it kind of turned me off as a child every time i got in the car and my parents said we're gonna go to the store on the way home my entire life would shatter before my eyes right there that was the most tragic event that could ever happen ever literally a gray filter was applied upon my face and music started playing and rain started falling out of like it was death bro worst possible event that could ever happen to me was that bro oh my god H half the times they said they go to the store and they didn't include me i would celebrate because what i was able to do then is i wasn't allowed to play video games on weekdays but i'd sneak on my my dad's computer and play minecraft and that that was a big moment for me so every time my parents said you know we're, we're gonna go to the store we'll be back soon i'll be like, yes minecraft time now that was the that was the road i took uh first i wasn't allowed to play video games at all and then i was only allowed to play it after 10 a.m uh and before 9 30 p.m on weekends this is why i'm so good at talking myself out of situations my mom's an auditor so even uh, from a young age i could not get away with nothing bro they caught me trying to get my 3ds under the pillow asap second time i hit my 3ds under my pillow they caught it they could just tell from my demeanor that i was hiding something and because my parents were like that i had to get good at talking myself out of situations real fast or i was gonna have a very annoying childhood so i i uh you know i got better at it and eventually i was able to talk myself into getting to play video games on weekdays and getting rid of the time constraints and stuff like that bro i don't even know why they made it so i couldn't play before 10 a.m i didn't even wake up before 10 a.m no ever what what is even the point of banning video games that are there's no point oh my god i remember new memory dude i okay so my mom like messed up or something at one point like we had like a promise or something and she like failed to fulfill it so in order to make up for that i was allowed to play video games on weekdays for one week and what i did to prove like not prove but like just just because i could is i woke up when i was supposed to wake up for school like 6 a.m or something like that instantly hopped on world of world of goo on my week i didn't even eat breakfast that day i instead of doing anything i'm like look at me I am playing World of Goo on the Wii at 6 a.m. I'm doing this right now. I felt so liberated that day. I was like, look at me. I'm doing whatever the hell I want. What? I, I don't know. Dude, I don't know. There was no warning to that one. No one would have ever guessed that was coming with how I was. I was literally like, oh, look at me, you're dying in Tiamat or reattempt in the there. Dude, my face when I passed the, the wave, I was like, is this real? Is, am I doing that right now? Like, like what? To be fair, that was really lucky. Like, that was mega, super, ultra, super one in a thousand chance to dream speed run luck but jesus christ that's like bloodless comparable run right there like actually that's insane i did the run and my goal was to do it by friday and i did it by now day i don't know what day is it today i don't even know i think it's wednesday I hit the, the, the big spike in tactic. Nice. We're halfway there. Yep. Halfway through the journey, guys. It will only take four more days. I'm already trying to, to win the mental game, and I think I'm going to lose it. Here's where here's where we stand, right? This is easily the best I've ever played on Zodiac ever. I will not be able to match this for maybe a week. So I'm probably going to be miserable the next few times I play this. I have to find a way to avoid that. Zodiac is very mental, uh, which is definitely a blessing and a curse for me. I'm not very good at this game uh, physically, and a lot of the challenges I do end up being mental challenges, but I'm, I'm, my mental is also not so good even if it gets me through whatever i'm trying to do i guess it's kind of destructive you know what i'm saying No, I couldn't do it when I counted. Damn it. That sucks, bro. I could have made it to TMN. I think this is the best I've ever played in my life, probably. God, this is bad. It's good, but it's bad, right? I, like, okay, so when I started this, I had, like, goals, right? I've completed my goal for two weeks from now was to get to Samifying. I was going to do uh, Shock to 100 by Friday. That was kind of an ambitious goal. I didn't even know if I could do that. And then the next week, I was going to work on trying to get consistent because I thought Shock and Yuho were going to be impossible to pass. But it turns out to not even be that bad. Right now, when I'm, like, super powered or whatever this is, I don't even know but the problem is 
this this is n in no way sustainable in no way sustainable there is an actual zero percent chance that i will ever be this good at for where i am in skill ever again i don't think if i were to continue playing at this rate i could beat this level in two days but i will not continue to play at this rate it is impossible and i'm not careful this motivation boost is going to destroy me i don't know it's just it's not right it's not proper this isn't real Hey, 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 I saw a guy say, if you get to shock in the next five minutes, I'll sub. Let's see it. Okay, the promise, I don't actually know. <laughs> I just remember the message. It was Epic Meepster. Epic Meepster. I have your parents' contact information. You want them to find out that you're a liar? Wait, he's literally subbed. Who is it? It's you, but you're already sub. Why'd you say that? Then what's the point? Can you explain how you're, you didn't sub, but you weren't sub, but now you are sub. Someone needs to figure this out ASAP. This needs to be solved. I am, I am flabbergasted. I don't know. I think I just clicked in the ball, right? I don't know. I did like a super jumper. I went fly. Either that or I just clicked in the ball. No, bro. I just... What do you mean? No, I, I literally clicked. That was not... A, I did not click in the ball, bro. I just did like a mega ultra plimbo jump to the top of the screen, bro. World's highest jump ever. I told y'all that the unfunniest person in the room is constantly myself from a few months ago. Every joke that I make goes through like phases. First, I think it's funny for like four hours and then chat thinks it's funny for the next four months and then we have to ban it and then eight months later someone asks why this random term is blocked i'm really struggling because i literally okay so i know what's happening i i went to put eye drops in and i failed to put an eye drop in my right eye like five times and i was getting mad like i was going to punch the mirror mad because i these eye drops cost a lot and i kept missing so eventually i just, I just kind of gave up like i just accepted it but i think i have to go do it again because now my right eye is leaking that's making me so mad I, I, you know these these are not like cheap eye drops right and i'm and i kept it kept landing on my eyelid and kept landing here and here oh like ooh. dude i literally don't understand what's wrong with me i'm literally so stupid no i need to i don't know what i need to do shut up dude oh you ever get pissed off at something and then a train in the background makes a really loud noise and you get upset at it for no real reason because it's just something i'm sure that's a very relatable situation that's happened to everyone i don't know bro that train is sent me over the edge sometimes like straight up bro i'll be mad at something and then that and, and i will i will literally yell at the train bro now the thing with the rage room although that does sound fun uh is you know if i'm upset at something by the time i drive to a rage room i'll have calmed down probably a rage room is a room where you break things because you're mad i support the con i, I support the concept of a rage room oh. 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 this is so annoying this is so this is really annoying this is like one of the most annoying things ever penato is currently harder than tmn and failure combined right now random like at least if i knew these deaths i'd be more like okay with it but these are just deaths i don't feel like i've ever really encountered until right now and it's really starting to piss me off oh my god good luck space uk on my official challenge that's got to be maybe the least fun thing ever made ever it would also probably be the hardest thing ever done in case you didn't know i i, tw I tweeted at space uk i gave my I, my official challenge is to do kinos and then the the ending of kinos the last dash orb and then after the dash orb it turns into the sakupin circles wave because that's the next part of the song and then you do that to the end of sakupin circles that'd be terrible i, I don't even want to conceptualize dealing with something that stupid and then rock Top top rates it, yeah. <laughs> Kino circle. Dude, imagine a world where someone verifies Sweeping Demon 2. It doesn't get rated, and then you verify Kino circles, and it instantly gets rated. That'd be so funny. Okay, that took 18 minutes. What? I guess I'm just really feeling myself today. I, I don't know, man. Cool, dude. I'm actually doing nothing now. I went from like the most insane beginning of my life to doing nothing. It's just one of those things, you know? Yeah, I just, I, I don't have any control of my ship. That's the main thing, I think. Cause I'm dying a lot at Yuho ship too. I just don't have a lot of ship control today. Yeah, like that. Literally that specifically is just messing me up today. I feel pretty good at wave, but I'm, I'm just dropping the ball on ship right now. And it's really messing me up in this, in these first two parts here. Oh, too late. I was trying to, Damn it, dude. This level's so annoying. Like, not annoying in that like, the gameplay is in itself annoying, but you pretty much have no control over the character. Uh, because, like, it just feels like you wake up and 
every day every part is given a random value and that's how good you are at the part today literally because yesterday like yesterday the last time i streamed this i could like i couldn't do anything on pedicure and now i can do it every try but i can't do other certain things that i can do every other try the other day it literally feels like it's like completely just not in my own control whether or not No, my ship control! My ship control, dude! No, no! Do I care? No. When did Michael Jackson die? 2009. I remember where I was, believe it or not. I was in an Arby's. I would never go in an Arby's ever again, but I was in an Arby's then. When I came over to the thing, we were sitting next to like some tree thing or something. I don't know. I don't know why I remember that. I don't know. Sometimes my mom just gets mad at me and I don't know why. Do you ever, I hate that. Come on, I don't want to, I don't want I don't feel like playing this game right now. Just tell me, please. I just want to know. Like it doesn't do any of us any good, right? Cause she's mad and festering emotion and I, and then I'm just sitting here like, I, I don't know. Because she wants you to know, right? She wants you to know. That's how moms are. They want you to know what you did wrong. But sometimes you don't know. Yeah. And then if you ask it, they're, they're like, you know why. Like, I don't. I really don't. Please. Like, we need to move past this. We need to move past this or dinner time is going to be real awkward. Nah, dude. If my, if my dad's pissed at me, I've assumed like I've committed like an international crime. Like I am in for it. Most terrified I've ever been in my life, probably ever, is when my dad picked me up from school and said nothing to me the whole drive back. Like I tried to talk to me, said nothing. He just looked at me like I I killed someone that was the most scared i've ever been i thought i had killed i thought i had killed someone dude i'm like oh my god what did i do i thought i was actually dead dude i was a long distance runner way back in the day before i had a grass allergy if you've ever ran before you'll have those days sometimes where it feels like you can run forever literally forever those were the sort of days i used to live for i'm pretty sure there was one day i just i just went and i kept going for i don't like 16 17 miles i just kept running i could not be stopped i was just, it was beautiful okay let's stop doing that Dude, these trains are so- It's like they try to make the loudest noise you've ever heard. I don't know why my hands go to WASD when I'm- when I'm, like, trying. Who knows? What if I'm far and my game randomly, like, changes into Minecraft and I need to play Bridge Jewels right then and there? Huh? What about that? Then who'd be ready? Me, not you. Me. I'm different than y'all. If I was playing GD and it randomly, like, transformed into Bridge Jewels, I would score without hesitation. I don't even need time to process. My- the electricity in my body would react before my- before my, like, nerves could even tell what was going on. I'd just start holding W. Am I addicted to reading chat? I wouldn't call it a, a, a thing that that I do. Just because I do something a lot doesn't mean I'm addicted to it. I can stop at any time. No, I don't think I can. It's a stream. I don't think I can stop at any time. Damn it. I'm tech, bro. Uh, I could have fluked the- Dude, dude, dude. I literally could have fluked the whole of the two hardest parts. That'd be insane. So, I, I went to bed. And what I like to do, one of my favorite things, uh, I recommend this to anyone who has some free time, is set your alarm to three hours before you want to wake up. Wake up and then go back to sleep. And you'll get, like, a bunch of dreams. And I got one dream. I was, like, watching TV in some random room, watching Breaking Bad. And Walter White looks at me and it just says, They call me the floor again. And it was so funny in my dream that I laughed so hard that I woke up. Which has never happened in my life. I laughed so hard I gained consciousness. Like it was I didn't think that was possible. If Akron gets uh terrified, it probably is gonna be the best top one we've had in a long time. Not saying it's good, it's just not slaughterhouse. <laughs> Arthurus is my favorite top ten. Hey, are you good? We're here for you, man. I agree. It's never too late. You can still get help. It's not you're not too far gone. We promise. Like top players have all these like I don't even know where they are really. They have so many things, bro. Oh, they have yeah, they have all these like clock best run attempts to jump. <laughs> <laughs> What does that look like now? Look at this. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Okay, 360, cheat indicator, message. Here we go. <laughs> now we're talking, bro. Why is the indicator red? I don't know. I turn on no clip, does it go green? No, I'm, I'm cheating? What, I, why am I cheating? I'm not cheating. Maybe it's because I have 360 FPS on. Is that cheating? Dude, someone get the worst mashup you've ever heard. Find one. What is the end switch cue? I don't even remember what it is, bro. Oh my god, I'm end switch. <laughs> someone get a someone get a terrible ass matchup. Someone. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, 
this is so bad. This is so bad! Okay, we need to fix this now. That was a fun excursion. Here's my promise to you guys right now. I will make it to Bionox one time from zero at least. I promise you. I will not end stream until I get to Bionox one time from the beginning at the very least. It might be kind of a hard promise to fulfill. Dude, I'm actually gonna lose my mind! Stop! 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 Stop, dude. Apparently one click is harder than the entirety of TMN plus Penetro. Okay, this time. This time. You're going down, click. No! Ah, dude! Wow, this is way more annoying than I thought it was gonna be. Holy crap, bro. Just buffer it? What? It I'm gonna not respond to that. No, I'm not gonna end stream because of one click. I'll figure it out, I promise. Look, we did, it's, just a, it's just a little bump in the road, okay? We'll just patch it out and then we'll move forward. Just imagine this click is like a pothole and I keep running over it. And I've had enough of the pothole, so I'm going out there and fixing it myself. I'm gonna uninstall the game. What? Dude, I was looking at chat. You saw my... I was, I, I don't know, I got so, so I was, I was looking at chat because I didn't care about that attempt and it just passed the port. You saw it, dude. I wasn't looking for it. Heather, I have to tell you something. I had the best pint of, uh, Jenny's salted caramel ice cream ever of all time. It was literally the best. I've had, like, a, I have, like, a, like, a pint of salted caramel every, like, week or so from Jenny's because it's pretty expensive, so I can't just get it all the time, whatever. You, you know I love off ice cream. I opened this thing up and it's just clearly the best. It is the best. Everything about it, I, I take a bite and I'm just like, this can't be possible. It's... It's so good, the, the softness of it, but the, you know, like, it's, it, well, I can't even describe it the words are good, but the flavor, the consistency, like, how it felt to eat, it was like, oh my god, I've never, dude, I reached in light by eating that ice cream, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I have so many, like, random memories of my dad, like, I remember one, we, like, there was something we, like, we really needed, like, I don't even remember what it was, there was, like, some problem, like, we had, we had to go to, like, a grocery store, uh, but we were on a cruise ship in, like, Hawaii or whatever, but it, like, it, like docked at some random island, and me and him just got off and just wandered in a random direction for, like, 30 minutes, and there was nothing for 30 minutes of walking, and then all of a sudden, just uh, out of nowhere, like, a whole food spawns in out of no like we didn't even know we didn't know that was gonna happen like it was just, it was just there all of a sudden we were like what the hell there was nothing before why is there a whole food to okay so we, we get whatever the hell we need and then we, we go back like what even happened there if i could just get to shock moderately consistently i could probably not sound like a week or something honestly because every day i'm able to at least get to penato from shock it's just i can't get there because i'm like really intelligent no oh, the joke was i was gonna stop losing and then i was gonna be like there i stopped losing but i keep losing my favorite musical instrument? I mean, that's a hard question, right? Maybe the piano. There's so much you can do with it. I feel like the piano has the highest skill ceiling. That doesn't make any sense. I don't think that's a real thing. But hey, hey, hey. Okay, yeah, drums go in. Dude, I, I love instruments. No! What a dumb death, dude! It's the stupidest death ever! You, I didn't even get to try, bro! I didn't even get to try! I didn't even get a chance, dude! Oh, you dumb idiot! I learned this moderately recently, but the whole reason that I have this name is because my dad, when he was in high school, people called him E-Pesta, because his first name starts with an E, and that's why he thought to give me that name when I started Minecraft account name in, like, 2013 or whatever. So really, there was one before me, you know? I think there's a greater chance, you know how they talk about how vending machines have, a, like, a greater chance of killing you than, like, sharks or whatever? Vending machines also have a greater chance of killing you than catching me in a public VC. I reached the level of, uh, I don't want to say popularity, I guess that's the word, or being in a public VC, um, makes it so that everyone else in the public VC is all like, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? And I'm not really about that. I'd rather smoke or have to beat Tartarus. I think I'm gonna beat Tartarus anyway, but I think I'm doing it on a 360. I think I want to get used to 360. I think after Zodiac, I'm caving in, if that's okay with you guys. What? Wait, I wasn't even looking. Why did I die? <laughs> I was looking at chat, bro. Why did I die? Yeah, smoking is bad in any way, shape, or form. That being said, I think in like in the next 30 years, weed is gonna be like, it's gonna be a lot less stigmatized than it is now. It's also like several tiers below alcohol too, even though alcohol is like way more like 
normal. That's not good for you either. And none of it's good for you. Let, let, let me make that very clear. Not, nothing I'm saying is good for you. There's just things that are less good for you. What about crack? I'm pretty sure crack's safe. You know what I'm saying? No dangers with that. We're not talking about breaking bad. So one person- Dude, nice run. Dude, Dare is such a bad program. It's like the worst program ever. It, uh, apparently, like studies have shown, it just, it worsened the problem. <laughs> if they're gonna do drug prevention programs, they shouldn't do it in elementary school because it's such an abstract concept to elementary school like, kids. No one cares. You just make fun of it the whole time. At least that's what I used to do, right? When I got those, like, when, when I had to get, you know, kicked out of class to go to one of those, like, school assemblies or whatever. I never take anything seriously, you know, joke around and all that. Nice. My game is a stuttered city today, dude. Dude, why? I literally died because of the stutters. I'm getting like a million stutters a second. So pr thread priority to high, but I, uh, dude, I just want to play from the beginning by now, and then I have to go all the way back over here. I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Uh, we can try it. I don't know where it is though. Under Mega Hack Pro. Ah. Uh. Hi. Hi. Did that brick my OBS or is it still functioning? Like, if you want to hear something interesting, just go into a, like a, like a, you know, school bathroom stall during a break and just listen. You'll hear something. Unfortunately, my school was really annoying. I had a lot of stomach problems because I, I don't know, I, I had more stomach problems specifically because I had to wake up as early as I had to. That makes no sense. But every day I had to like almost puke pretty much at school every day around like second, third period. I, I you know, I have to go to the bathroom and the, the kids in my school were just, they were stupid. I, I, I don't know how else to say it. They would just, every time there'd be someone in a bathroom stall, they would just throw stuff into the bathroom stall to try to like piss them off. Like that's literally what they do. And not on zero amount of times, I'd enter the bathroom and there was just kids throwing objects into the bathroom stall because someone was in there. A lot of teachers thought I was just skipping when I went to the bathroom, which was insulting because when I skipped, I would just not tell any of them at all. So, you know, if I say I have to go to the bathroom, I'm in the bathroom. Otherwise, if I'm not there, I'm skipping. I got in my fair share of trouble. Sometimes in class, I just walk out the classroom. What are they gonna do? No, I got the thing! I got the thing! This feels like it's gonna work or not work. Nice. Nice. No, oh, I... <sighs> Whatever, bro. Guess I'm dying to a tiny little spike on the side of the thing. Immediately after dying like that, I look at chat. Don't die somewhere stupid. I'm sorry. Oh, the worst itch of all time just appeared on my, uh, on my uh, head. Dude. Damn it. That was not gonna happen. Oh. Oh, I watched Chaotic Machine by Geometry Josh, and I did not realize how much Killbot stole from it. Like, I did not. I thought it was, like, loosely based off it. No, 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 bro. Every part, bro. Every part. I did not know that. It is literally the, the whole level right there. It, it kind of blew my mind. Not a whole lot else you can do. I guess the water is with me this time because I never put it away. Yeah, so I'm going to be selling harder than water is not powerful enough. Give me that, the dream meter click. Over turn zero gets balanced. It's not going to get balanced too much, I'll tell you that. I'm going to tell you all this right now. At a 17 minute level based off a clone hero song, it will not be fully balanced. There will be no perfect balancing for this level. There's going to be parts that might even be considered unfair to many, probably. Pretty laden, if I had to guess. And parts that are probably going to be way easier than a lot of other parts. Oh, it's not going to be buggy. That's not what I mean. Yeah. We'll make sure it's not buggy. It's not going to be perfectly balanced. No Thanos perfectly balanced dagger gif. Dude, my eyes do such a crazy dance during the first part of shock, bro. Like, my eyes fly all over the screen in order to do shock. Like, this is how you do it. Dude, you guys would not believe me if I had an eye tracker. Sometimes my eyes are just in a completely unrelated spot because it hurts my eyes less to look there. Like, unironically. I think if you guys saw how often I glanced at chat too, you'd all, like, stop watching me. It'd be, like, 45%. You'd see my eyes flick over to chat and you'd be like, oh my god. This guy. Gravity Falls did not age well. That's super mega plimbo level cap, actually. I rewatched it like a few weeks ago when I was sick on the couch and it was awesome. That's a fail opinion. Na, na, na. I clicked twice because like, I clicked twice because I thought I had to click again. <laughs> so I died. <laughs> nice run. I clicked twice because I thought I had to click in the ship again. So I died. Dude, that would have been 20 to 100, dude. 
No! That did not happen to me yet, bro. I hate that death. I don't feel too intimidated by Zodiac, honestly. As weird as it is to say. I know I really should be, but it just like, me and this level, I've known this level forever, you know what I'm saying? I've been looking at this level my whole life. I know I really should be intimidated. It's like super hard level, but it just doesn't feel that hard, you know? Like I know it is, but it's more just like a mental thing and I don't really, you know, Zodiac, I think this feels easier than it is. No, I don't think it should be lower on the list. I don't think that I should give a single list opinion ever actually because of how i play i don't think you guys would like my opinion because they're almost solely based off of the fact that my eyes only half function and would not be very useful to anyone like for example i think this and chromatic haze should not be that far apart how about that chat hmm that makes sense to you i bet not but it's not out of any sort of ego or like thinking that i'm right it's literally just chromatic haze caused my brain to like fizz out like every time i played it no i actually died to that bro Oh, that's so... Dude, oh my god, really? <sighs> I knew it was coming, but it... I knew it was coming, but it didn't make it hurt any less. Are you serious right now, bro? That's not funny, dude. That's actually just not funny. That's... <sighs> I don't even know what made it happen. I have no, I have no urgency to beat this. But for some reason, I decided right then and there, I just wasn't dying at all ever again. I don't, I can't go back to there willingly. I literally can't. I don't even know what triggered it in the first place. I don't think in my life I've ever even seen someone that consistent at Zodiac ever. I was literally just not dying. I died at stuff I just didn't even know that I could die to and then do the next stuff like it didn't mean anything. Like it was just, that was bizarre. It may take me a while to get going today, guys. I must have been really tired or something because I slept for like... 12 hours or something. Whenever I do that, it takes me a little while to like get back into reality. The real reason is uh, because I went to bed really early on Saturday night and then woke up early as a result. I can't just sleep that early naturally. So I stayed up until like 6 a.m. again. And, but at that point I had been awake for like a lot of hours or whatever. So I guess my body was like, you need to sleep forever now. Is my progress is faster than Kinos? Well, I think you can figure that out for yourself honestly that's hard in my opinion bloodbath is to keep in hell bloodbath easily especially nowadays the cuban health's probably like a four star nowadays bro y'all got 360 all just plays itself for like a year and a half it was just pretty much entertainment i never really cared to get any better but i'm on the grind now it's been so long since i've actually tried to improve at this game it's insane i never thought i'd take the game seriously ever again i thought i would just be playing it to play it not that i ever really got bored i just i wanted to have fun with it instead of like really trying to improve or whatever you know what i mean like every, every anytime i did something it was just like i'm doing this because it makes me fun i could hang out with chat we could do that and this and all that sort of thing but no now now it's like oh i'm getting serious about this reality in the zone mode again no i'm not going into the zone mode ever again probably i mean i can't say ever but i've seen it twice and once makes sense, the other one makes none. The only time I've ever felt that was when I was at the last ship of Kinos and my in there was no sense of self anymore. There was only this level and me beating it right now. I was, I was the ship. Like, that was me. That's all I was in that moment. I felt like I had perfect control over it because of that. It feels like I wake up with a randomly generated number and that's how mad I'm gonna get at video games today. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that to chat. Every time someone says like, every time someone says like, why are your clicks all out or turn down the volume of your clicks, just respond with like, he's doing it to fight you specifically. I like that. You get bored of sleeping? No, 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 no. You don't get bored of sleeping if you do what we do, which is wake up on purpose a few hours before getting out of bed and then continuously fall back asleep. Your brain will generate the most random things you could ever think of if you do that. I can wake up if I need to, but it's more fun to generate a million dreams. Well, if you want to do it, you have to keep like a dream journal. That's the strat. You gotta like document all your dreams after you do it. I know it sounds like, like some hippie not real nonsense, but it's so real. You have no idea, dude. If you keep a dream journal of every dream that you've had and then do the thing that I said where you wake up before you actually want to get out of bed and then continuously fall asleep. You can do that. Re-entering a dream is like a 50-50. Sometimes you go back, sometimes it's a new one. You're like, damn it. Lucid dreaming is fun and real. I thought when I was younger, I thought it was a made up concept that like you couldn't actually do it. It's so real, dude. You just gotta, you gotta have the commitment. Consciousness is so weird, isn't it? As I was trying to fall asleep last night, I played like an entire bridge game in my head. Yo, Crafty on, thank you for the five gifted. Appreciate it. And uh, thank you. Oh, pure OG legend. Thank you for the $10 as well. And uh, the star is silly, thank you for the 100 bits. Wow, that was insane. Every single possible money event happened at the same exact time. Gift sub, prime sub, 100 bits, 
tip all in the same I've never seen that before ever when did I fix the tip thing that appearing I didn't it fixed itself one day that was the most insane I don't know how many people were there but like one day out of nowhere someone like subs and it shows up and the entire chat flips because it hasn't worked in like a year I didn't do anything by the way it just literally fixed itself ah what the hell I saw that I I didn't think that number was real until it flooded the chat with the that Thank you for the 28 gift subs, Lady Wee, AK multi-millionaire. What the hell? No! I want to do a command so bad! Ah! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It actually scared me! It actually scared like a horror game jumpster. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 gifted Crassion. 50! That's like I, oh, I would need so many hands to count that on my fingers, you have no idea. Line required. Stop! What the hell? What the fuck, dude? You gotta stop doing this! This is not possible! This is like a zillion billion dollars! I'm gonna move into like a house made of like stolen fucking gold after this or some shit, dude. I'm gonna... Dude, what the fuck? No! I'm not diamond splash, it's not gonna happen. <sighs> oh. So what are all the different types of orbs? We have uh Rorb, Borb, Blorb, Grorb, Yorb, Dorb, Porb, Pink Orb. That's BS Red Royal. BS. Why why? I didn't even do anything. You're not lying, go check. I don't believe Dude, am I actually getting baited by you right now? There's no way they actually gave me private. I'll check, but you're baiting. You're baiting me. But I, I care just enough to check, but you're baiting. You weren't baiting. Okay. <laughs> you weren't baiting. What? Why did they do this? No way! Let's go! Dude, I'm private! No bait! No bait! Oh, my name looks so ugly like this! Dude, I'm private! I didn't think that was ever gonna happen to me! This is like the best day ever. What? Dude, I- Random! Me when I wake up and God's like, Good news, this random Tuesday is your day, bro. Dude, this is- This stream has been so cartoonishly random. I, every time I try to focus, 10 minutes later, the most unbelievable event you could ever would expect would just occur. Like, how are you supposed to focus in this environment? This is like a scripted day or something, dude. Damn, $160 birthday money, let's go. Yeah, literally, as a kid, your job is to, like, get older so that you get money. It's like your yearly allowance. I never had an allowance. I asked my parents for one, and they're like, well, then go get a job. And I, I guess I did. I don't think this is what they had in mind. I think if you told my parents, like, 10 years ago, that the solution to that question would be continue to play video games they would like they wouldn't believe it the looks on their faces the looks on their faces if they could instantly look into the future and see what happens to me dude last night eli was pulling an all-nighter to like fix his sleep schedule and i i fell asleep finally at like 7 p.m or whatever i mean 7 a.m and then at 10 a.m i was woken up by him screaming i listen in and they're talking about what like novel boy layouts or something that's what they're doing and they're like screaming over it for like two hours and i could not sleep it was impossible pretend there was like a progress bar and that's how close i am to sleeping every time i got close it'd be a scream but i was just laying there until like noon like please this needs to end it's a good time four That just ruined the whole thing for me, dude. Even if I do it, it doesn't matter. I've ruined it. It was never about beating Zodiac for me. I always knew I could beat Zodiac. It was really about proving that my nerve consistency was something decent. That was what this was really about for me. That's something, that's what I wanted to prove. And I couldn't even do that. I feel, I, I lost. Dude, my fingers are sticky. I hate summer. I like the fact that you don't have to do anything during the summer. Like who, who wouldn't like that part? But the part where it's like sticky and hot, oh, if you like that, you suck. And you're not real, and you're planted by the government to make us think that summer is cool, but it's not actually cool. 
literally actually government planted drones to make us go outside on july 4th and look at fireworks like literally no one likes summer that's real dude every time i go outside i feel i have to literally i think in the summer i shower like every day because every day i wake up i feel like i'm sticky and gross and vitrification is one of the coolest levels i've ever seen but we can't play it and i hate that that's like the closest we can get to it is just watching a video of it and that just makes me sad like john charge is a game meant to be played in my opinion you know what I mean? Like, I want to play it. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll literally show you. It's like the coolest level ever, dude. Look at this level, bro. It's so, it's so insane. I, 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 didn't, I didn't even have the words to explain how cool this level is, bro. Look at this. Look at this. I just, the whole time I was watching it, I got mad, dude. Like, I can't, imagine if this was a playable level, bro. This is like the coolest level I've ever seen. Like, this is more expressive than like, this is like, this is atmosphere, dude. I want, yeah, why can't this just be playable? It's so annoying, bro. Dude, and the only impossible level we got to be playable is Arcturus, bro. Like, are you for real? Insane. One of the coolest levels I've ever seen and we can't, like, I don't know, it just, it makes me mad, bro. It just makes me mad. This literally isn't that good. You have, your eyes don't work. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to inform you. Actual L take. That's one of the coolest levels I've ever seen. It's so upsetting. Dude, I've been listening to like a lot of rap lately. I just, I try to listen to new genres all the time. And this is one I haven't really branched into. Well, I can't really relate to like a lot of stuff because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm Ace Arrow. I actually can relate to a lot of other stuff because a lot of the, a lot of these kids, you know, were thrust from a position of like, you know, not doing too well, but like b basically making a career off of entertainment. And that's often explored a lot in their music. And I can resonate with that a lot, you know? It's not really a genre I've ever explored before, but I'm not really one to not explore new things, you know what I mean? A lot of what I listen to is like metal and jazz and that sort of stuff. I wanted to add another thing to that, except for country. I will never listen to country. I've heard enough. I've heard two songs, that's enough. But yeah, I encourage you all to explore new genres. It's good. And you know, your music tastes are kind of set in stone by like 25 or something I heard, so get on that. What's after this? Espera. We need it rated, dude. I'm gonna single-handedly try to get this level rated, bro. I was gonna go for Silent Club step, but honestly, I, I respect Vision and Paco's efforts. I don't really want to interfere with that. Not that I even think I can catch up. When I said I wanted to do it, no one was really trying it very seriously. Everyone kind of just, like, had given up on it. I kind of wanted to push the fact that it could be done, but they, they're doing it anyway, so I don't really need it in that. I might do that with Exasperation, though. I think Exasperation would be a really weird but interesting challenge, honestly. It'd be crazy, but it is it is all possible. I know it's like a weird level to defend because like it's bad. Like I'm not even like it's kind of hard to argue, but like the way the gameplay is like made and structured is like actually super unique. Like in terms of how the challenge would actually go. That's true. I I don't really have a whole lot of competition. I don't really feel like my position is something that I really feel the need to defend or anything like that. I think I'm just gonna do what I do until I'm done. But I I, I do think it's important that while I'm around to make sure that you guys are happy. You know. That I'm happy and you're happy. I'm not obviously just gonna do stuff because you guys want me to do it. I wanna make sure you guys are chilling, you know? I'll definitely be taking your input as to what I'll end up doing in terms of getting better at the game as I seek to improve in these next few months here. Make sure we're all happy and content as I try to get better. I really do want Return Zero to bang though, because if Return Zero is like, has a lot of hype around it, dude, then that will really push the meta of long levels, which is something that I'm like really passionate about, you know what I mean? I definitely wanna keep hype for that high. Wait, did it actually get rated? Please, dude, please, dude. Did you rate it, bro? Yes, good job, dude. Good job, dude. It should be future. I don't know why it's not future, but at least it's rated, bro. It's one of my favorite levels to ever come out. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy that it got rated. This level is crazy. I'm really looking forward to beating it at some point. Dude, you're right. A level called the Hell Nuts got rated. Okay, okay, okay. First, I need to find out what that means. Dude, why is it a mirror? I can't do timings in mirror. I'm too stupid. Like, it's literally impossible. I, I, I don't know how people do it. I'm like handicapped, bro. I can't. I can't do me like I actually can't dude. Hey, this is actually hard. Wait, really? Dude, the helmet's top one? Can I just go real mode now? Cause I'm I'm so sick of mirror. Is it just gonna mirror the whole time? Well see, I don't make fun of me, dude. I can't play mirror. I'm like, I'm not new gen though. I just hate mirror. I'm allowed to hate mirror. I'm gonna get a headache. I gotta stop. Either that or I play it no mirror. That's my only other option. I'm doing it. You have to understand, guys. I get a headache playing this. I'm not doing it, bro. Bam. I just wanna see it. I just wanna see the level. Anyway, it's fair. Esfera, Stream Demon Esfera. So you guys, a lot of you guys might be confused when I say this is one of my favorite levels ever, but it like, I don't know, this level feels straight out of like 2018. Like it doesn't feel like a level that like would exist today. 
I don't really know how to describe it in any other way. It just feels like it's literally from like a time capsule and it came from 2018 and I love it. And I just, I love the ideas that Korean gameplay creators bring to their levels. They just do whatever they want, honestly. How is this different than any XL Glow Extreme? You know, I don't know if I can put it into words, but it is. This and Titan Complex have something that a lot of other levels don't, and I can't quite put it into words. There's just something about it that makes it stand out from a lot of other mega collabs. Also, Temp has like a genuinely really good part. Normally, Temp parts have like this weird thing about them, but it's just so good. It's actually so, it's such a good part. Like, you can't tell me that's not cool, chat. Sorry, pretty much all I'm saying is it's so good. It's really good. It's actually really good. Like, I, I like, we get it. You know what I mean? Why does Pride Month exist? I don't even know if it was the idea of LGBT people or if it's just like a company thing. I don't I, I'm not really sure, honestly. I don't know. Pride Month has always kind of left a sour taste in my mouth because of how companies abuse it. It makes me think they just came up with the whole idea, but I don't know. I'm not too knowledgeable about the whole thing. I just hate corporations and the things they do. Like, obviously, LGBTQ stuff is good and should be accepted. I have obviously no problem. I just, I, I wonder if the whole thing was created by companies for companies, you know? That's this, that's what I worry about. I don't actually know that much about it though. I could just be completely talking out of my ass right now. It really just does seem like something they do. They've made up a holiday before. I don't remember which one. I think it might have been Valentine's Day. Easter, definitely not Easter. <laughs> they definitely didn't make that one up. I can assure you that one was not made by corporations. That's the only one I'm 100% sure they didn't make up. They didn't make up Thanksgiving. I know where that one comes from. Not so sure where Halloween comes from. I think it was a real holiday and then they converted it into like a capitalism holiday after the fact, if I remember correctly. Directly. Like, Halloween was just entirely something different before, and now it's something else. Fourth of July is not made up. I know where that one comes from. I know, I know, I know Christmas itself is, like, obviously not. St. Patrick's Day? I do not remember where that came from, actually. I think the made-up one's Valentine's Day. Like, I'm 95% sure that's the one that's made up. I don't know. Maybe it was one of the 64,000 holiday- Dude, you know what they did in, like, Rome back in the day? They didn't have weekends or whatever, but, like, like one out of every three days was a holiday. Because they had, like, four million gods. They were definitely just making it up to get off work, bro. Always something to celebrate over there. They made up, like, a million billion holidays, so they didn't have to do anything. Hey, if I lived in Italy in that time, I'd want an excuse to drink more wine, too. Dude, yeah, I need, I need to go to- I need to go to Italy, bro. My life is missing Italian food. I am not scared of death. I'm scared of old age. I don't really care what happens to you after you die, honestly. I'm not too concerned with that, but I am concerned about being old and not being able to do anything. When you're dead, you definitely can't do anything. Yeah, but you can't, you also can't realize that you're not doing anything. The thing in my head when it comes to death is just, I've been there before. I'm okay with not existing, I think. I can't be not okay with it. I just, I can't even process anything at that point. Of course, we can't process that, but I'm not okay with being old and not being able to do anything and just looking back and wishing that I had spent my one chance doing this and that. that that's what keeps me up at night. If I'm conscious in the afterlife and it's eternal, that's the worst possible outcome. I would much rather be able to die than not be able to. I mean, the arguable best way, if, if we could choose how it happens, is there could be some sort of afterlife, you could do whatever you want, it's whatever, I don't know, whatever the afterlife is, and there's like a way for you to die still, like in there, like permanently, like there's like a, like a door or something you could walk through and then you're done. That'd be pretty sick. I think it'd also be kind of cool if there was like a, another door that just like refreshed all your memories and sent you into a new body. That'd be kind of Fun. But then there's a bit of an identity crisis there, right? When you go into the afterlife, do you remember your memories from the first time? Because that would overwhelm you, I think. Just don't be a racist. It's easy. If you're still like, if you're okay, if you're reincarnated as someone who still thought the same though, like in terms of general this and that, like you're not just gonna be like born a racist. Like if your exact characteristics were just in a different time and place, it all comes down to what we actually are. How much of us is actually us and not just taken from from our surroundings? Probably seventy percent of our entire identity isn't ours. It's just what we picked up from our surroundings, from other people, from relationships we've had, from places we've grown up. We're made up of our surroundings. But is there any? Part of us that's just us, that's just our actual brain. I like to think so. Yeah, I, li I like to think I've had some control over the personality that I have. Yeah, there's always the, the other side of the coin to getting nostalgic over anything is that you know you'll never feel that ever again. It happened just as recently as I was playing uh, Delta in Chapter 2. I was playing it, like, you know, thinking about how amazing it was that I was playing this for the first time, but there's always the other side of that. I will never play this again for the first time. This is, this, there's an experience I'm having right now in my life that I'm really enjoying that will never happen ever again. And that's not to say that there aren't other experiences that aren't going to make me feel like that, like Chapter 3 to 5 are going to drop at some point. But you'll never have that specific experience 
ever again. And that just kind of, you know, I mean, it really makes you think. That didn't really get me as much, but you know, stuff like other stuff that I've done, vacations I've had, you know, moments I've had with people, that sort of stuff. Yeah, no more first time memory, exactly. I have already experienced it. I will not experience it again. I always think about that when I'm experiencing something insane that I that I know is really special to me. There's just this little part in me that just knows that it kind of sucks that I'll never be able to feel this way ever again about this specifically. No matter how trivial, even this conversation, what we're doing right now, we may have a conversation similar to it, we may have streams similar to this, but where you are in your life right now, you'll never feel that ever again. Not that exact, not the exact way you feel right now. Sort of like how you, you'll never stand in the exact same place, you know, because like your atoms are a bit off and that sort of thing. You'll never experience the exact same thing. And there's still plenty of new experiences on the horizon, but it, it just really makes you think. Getting into bridge was weird today. I mean, like, getting into bridge was, like, weird, because, like, that's so not me. Something something compelled me about it. I couldn't even really tell you what it was. Yeah, it was after we stopped doing Bed Wars. Someone was like, I don't I don't remember why we did it. I think Syndicate or something wanted to, uh, wanted to try out Bridge 2v2 or something. And then, like, a day later, I got Bucky's video and I recommended it, and that's how. Because it's so weird, because I usually try to stay away from, like, competitive games. Because my mindset's just not that good. I don't know, something about Bridge just really, like, made me want to try it. And I am pretty, pretty good. I wouldn't say I'm great, but I got private, so I'm probably within, like, top 200 by now. It's pretty good. I haven't used 360 FPS yet just because it feels kind of unfair to, uh, to all the progress I've made. If I just, like, turn on a higher refresh rate and then, like, instantly complete the level. I will use 360 after this, but I'm going to finish this one out. You guys have to understand, I was very slow to warm up to the idea because back in my day, uh, I would have considered it full-on hacking. And it is hacking still, in a sense, but it's normalized hacking. And if everyone else is going to do normalized hacking and I'm trying to verify the top one, I'm going to join them, you know what I'm saying? Plus, I really don't think I need to make it harder for myself if I'm trying to compete with the top players in that regard. I don't really think 240 is handicapping. Like, I don't think it's that extreme of a difference between 240 and 360. I just... I really do not need to make it any harder for myself than it already is to compete with the top players. I'm sure I could do anything that I do on 360. On 240, it would just take a bit longer. I don't know if I go as far as to call that handicapping. That hurt really bad. That hurt worse than any death I've had in the subway thus far. That hurt so bad. Oh, that hurt so bad. I, okay, so the reason that hurt so bad is because, uh, I wasn't making it anywhere. I hadn't made it anywhere for several days. And then I finally just, I wasn't even playing well. Just by random chance, I managed to finally get my way over there to die by clicking one frame. It doesn't, even, it's not even progress. Yeah, it's for someone like me, patience was the, was the, the prerequisite for any of the things I've done. I'm just not very gifted at games. I truly believe that patience is something you could work on. Just because you don't have patience now doesn't mean you like can't later, I think. As someone who is horrendously impatient in my youth, I think it's something you can absolutely work on and improve on. Just like uh, nerve control. Nerve control is another thing that you can just work on and improve at. Dude, I was so bad at Michigan's part in Bloodbath. I could never do Michigan to 100. I finally did it and then beat it four attempts later. Yeah, well, in your first day, it was probably like 360 FPS bypass world. When I was beating Bloodbath, I was native 144 because that's what everyone was back in the day. I beat Bloodbath, it was top 10, fun fact. That's actually so frustrating because I literally went out of my way to make sure that I figured that out. Common trend actually for people that die at 99. As you may know, two of the people who have died at 99, Diamond Splash and Mitch, and they are both gay. And I am not gay. Therefore, by that logic, I will not die at 99. Unless it extends to every LGBTQIA+. I'm one of those letters. I unfortunately do have pronouns. One of these days, we just need to all like band together. Like all of us. Because I'm sick of these presidential candidates all being like 80 year old old farts. That aren't gonna do anything. Let's all just get mad enough to where we all just write in some like random guy. Like just some guy. Like I don't know. Like just some like normal age dude. We'll just all write him in. Yeah, what is the age requirement? Is it isn't it like like 45 or something absurd? 35. Alright, we find the coolest 35 year old we can find. And I'll vote him in. EVW. Nice. Let's do it. I'm down. Oh, he doesn't have a US citizenship. Aw. Well, if he's president, then uh he can just make one, right? It definitely works like that. You definitely don't have to be a citizen to even be in contention. The first place. Matt Pat is exactly 35. Dude, I do not want Matt Pat as president, bro. You really want to hear the State of the Union or whatever? It'd be so much waffling in that goddamn that goddamn speech, bro. I guess they already do a lot of waffling, but there'd be a lot of it. I can imagine him giving like a speech about like some like like global crisis and he throws in little pop culture references and then makes like a smirk face or something. Oh, uh, why did I click so early? Dude, I literally clicked like like several frames before I needed to. Why? 
Dude, actually, why? <sighs> now I'm just gonna get mad at every death because of the death I had a failure. Literally, every death is gonna make me upset because of the death I had a failure. Also, oh, whoever said that comment in the chat, that was mean. I have more than one female viewer. I have it at least two. Look, in a, in a group of a thousand people, like, they can't all be male. It's impossible. It's literally statistically impossible. Okay, it's not actually statistically impossible, but it's like, it's so statistically unlikely. No, I did it too late that time! Oh my god. Dude, I don't even understand. It looks like I reached the platform time. Did I not buffer it? Dude, speaking of being recognized in public, it's not exactly being recognized in public, but like, I was at, like, um, I was at my cousin's graduation, yeah? And there were like a bunch of family members and like related family members and whatever. And one of them came up to me, like, 40 year old lady, and was like, oh, I watch your, I watch your stream sometime, good stuff. And I'm like, what? You do what with the, who, with the where now? That was kind of a jump scare. It's not exactly the same as getting like recognized in public, but it did kind of throw me off. Third female viewer, shut up. I've only had one oatmeal, it's been 10 out of 10. I've had a couple 9 out of 10s, but I remember I had a 10 out of 10 a few months back it was so good i was getting my mind blown dude i was like how did i make that and i tried to like recreate the exact thing i did but it didn't it didn't i can't i don't know what i did <gasps> why even bother dude i should just quit dude all the deaths i've had while far today are just due to actual negligence i clearly don't care about this if i cared about this i wouldn't die to those spots why did i die there dude i'm actually having such an embarrassing experience with this level i literally should have beaten this two weeks ago and i didn't because i don't know i guess i just decided i didn't want to you know Dude, I'm so worked up. Oh my god. I don't know why I'm so worked up. This is really frustrating. Why am I getting so mad today? Calm down, dude. I'm also allergic to dust. I'm actually breathing a little easier today than I was. Because we, we cleaned up the whole apartment yesterday. And that was honestly probably not that good for me. Like, it was, it's good now that it's clean. But actually, like, moving all that dust around just to, like, you know, clean it up and that sort of stuff. That was probably not too good for me yesterday. But now that it's, like, all gone, I, I, I feel all right. Oh, yeah, masks do not help with allergies. I, I, I still, like, back when the man, I don't wear them anymore. It's, like, kind of hard. I've had a couple, like, really bad experiences with that. Not that I'm, like, an anti-mask or anything like that. It's just hard when you have to go outside and then there's grass and you have a mask on. I was biking to the food hall and someone was actually cutting the grass as I was biking past, which was really bad. Uh, that's really, really, really bad. And... As I made it to the food hall and I was sitting there in line with my mask on, I could not breathe. And it was maybe one of the scariest moments of my entire life. Like out of either my nose or my mouth. Like I could not, I was not getting any oxygen into my body. I had to run outside because I was generating so much mucus. I had to run outside and like take my mask off and just try to breathe. And just, I, I like collapsed on the ground. That, that was really bad. I, I, I just kind of collapsed on the ground for like 20 minutes. I was just down there. And then eventually I picked myself up and finally ordered food. That was probably my, my worst experience with that. So I'm, I'm not an anti-masker. That's, that's the only problem I really had wearing them. Me and my family were at a restaurant and we did the Wordle. And it was a word. It was the first time there was a word I've genuinely never heard of in my life. I didn't even remember it. But it was like last Sunday's Wordle was a word. I got it just based off of letters, but I've never heard of that word in my life. The first time ever. Yeah, bay you. I don't know if I'm just stupid, but I just have genuinely just never heard that word. English or science. I think both English and science are the two most, like the teacher is so important in those two classes. I mean, the teacher's always important, but I feel like especially in English and science, because you can make both of those classes really interesting or exceptionally boring. Good science teachers like really make you care about. I, I had the best science teacher. I wish we respected our science teacher. He was such a good teacher. We didn't respect him very much because we were dumb sixth graders. The entire class, we had a Google doc. We had shared to the entire class or like everyone that didn't suck ass. And we were just like typing to each other in the Google doc. We didn't all have phones back then. Like, phones existed, but, like, kids didn't usually have them. Now, now kids have, like, iPads at the age of, like, four. There's been no negative side effects seen with kids getting addicted to social media at the age of six. Actually, seeing an iPad kid is kind of sad. I saw one not that long ago. They literally, you can't even talk to them. It's literally impossible. I think some of them have probably suffered, like, permanent brain damage from this. I'm not even gonna lie. It was so high. It was impossible. There was nothing I could have done. I'm 95% sure there was no frame I could have clicked that would have worked there.
I got in my own head. I got in my own head. I didn't want to die there again. It was so close, dude. I definitely didn't stream this late because I was really engrossed in watching a very specific YouTube video that I clicked on. The video I watched was about some guy tripping on LSD, which is somehow on YouTube. It's just straight up an illegal substance. Like, I don't, I don't know. I didn't finish it though because it's like five hours long and I needed to stream today. I personally think that psychs should become legal in like designated like, like, like trip buildings. You know what I mean? Where you have like people like watching to make sure everything is okay and that sort of thing. Trip hut. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Shroom room, for real. The LSD lounge, the acid atrium. What is the chat's average age? Uh, probably like 15, 16. We got some oldies in here. You guys have to understand, the average age of the chat used to be a lot lower, but a lot of people kind of like grew up with me now. Like some of the people watching since 2020, we're getting kind of old, guys. That's what happens when you like stream for as long as I have now. I'm proud to be someone's childhood YouTuber, because I like to think of myself as a decent influence. Let's not go that far. Like I wouldn't go ahead and something of a good influence, but I'm not, I'm not like ruining the lives of the people who watch me, but like, teaching them insanely bad habits. I'm not producing assholes here. I saw an extremely funny tweet not that long ago. It was like, would you hit this button if it gave you a million dollars, but you had to act on every impulsive thought you've ever had for the rest of your life? Which is hilarious, because you'd be dead within 10 minutes. All you have to do is just think something random. Like, you see like an oven on at like 500 degrees. Like, what if I put my hand in there? What would it feel like? You know, like, but then you act on your impulsive thoughts till all the million dollars are gone. So then you would instantly try to spend the million dollars so you don't like, you know, like die or something like that. Would you hit the button then you have to spend every single cent of that before you think something that gets you killed or incarcerated for life the neighbors are out to do it if i just ran them over there you go it's over it the most stressful moment of my entire life i think but i might hit the button if i had a game plan what if someone just like restrains you and then spends the money for you as long as you tell them what you want that's actually the strat that is the strat dude i'm ready to hit the button who's ready dude it's so funny i think me and matt are like physically incapable of like actually focusing we played from like 9 30 to like 1 30 or something like we, we went insane we were going in and like we started the call by like being like dead silent like we were, we were sweating so hard and then, and then three hours in we're like blabbing our mouths off about this and i don't even we don't even remember it happening i call it the car ride effect i don't know if you guys have ever experienced it how it works is no matter what if you're with a close friend and you are both either not talking or trying to focus on something eventually in a few hours no matter how hard you try you will be talking about whatever there's nothing you can do to get out of it if you're with a friend for longer than an hour and a half the absolute maximum and eventually you'll find yourself in deep conversation just by complete accident it might just be the kind of people I end up hanging out with. We're all kind of dickheads. Like, I don't really, uh, rip much at all. Like, I, I do it when I'm not doing anything. Oh, well, that's true. My own meal is over there. I've had this mouse pad so long. Probably ever since I ever owned a computer, I've had this mouse pad. It's like this random ass, insanely old mouse pad from like, I don't even know, an office in like the 90s or something. I have some emotional attachment to this mouse pad now. It's the only thing from my setup that's been with me the whole time. Even my old monitor my mom uses now. But this mouse pad has been with me ever since I was in a cubby in the room next to the kitchen. God, I hated that room. No door. There were no doors in this area. To the right of me, my brother's computer was there. And then over there was the kitchen. So everyone could hear me at all times and there was nothing I could do about it. It was kind of annoying. Dude, I literally stayed up for like three days and I'm still more tired when I entered math class for this period in 11th grade. I think it's the most tired I've ever been. Like 7 a.m. or whatever. I can't do it. It's like the room is designed to make me tired, I think. Like the teacher was fine. Like he was a good teacher, but it was something about the room. Every time I entered it, I just immediately wanted to pass out right then and there. I was in the back of the room and it was really warm. I almost failed the entire class because of that. Literally. I literally just couldn't keep my eyes open. Back when I used to stream on Twitch, I used to average like five viewers, I'd say. And then I started streaming Damon. Like, high school guys are stupid, right? I agree. <laughs> So like all day we were all like touching each other weird. All right. <laughs> Got me up to like 20 average viewers. I remember the day I beat it, I had like 80 viewers, which was insane. I had never seen that number before. I started streaming on YouTube. I picked up WoW and that was brought me up to like 200, 300. I stayed at 300 then for Kinos. And by the time I beat, that was that was when it happened. I think the Kinos grind is what brings us all here. Show of hands, who was here for those streams for the the YouTube Kinos streams? I don't, I don't know how many people still exist. That is a long time. Almost three years ago now. That's really Really where my fan base developed to be honest and then I started making content and ever since then like 2020 it's been about a thousand six hundred to a thousand where do I know I won't move all right let's rattle some places off that I won't move to number one Idaho number two Florida number three North Korea number four Texas number five Alabama would not move there number six probably Russia or Ukraine right now right yeah I would want to move any to either of those places number seven Louisiana number eight Colombia Number nine, Yemen. Number 10, Ethiopia. There's 10. There's more. I would live in New Zealand. You kidding me? The only thing that's negative about it is you have like 250 ping and bridge. That is literally the only negative I can make up.
What's the point? I haven't made it past TMN in like three days. There's really no point in the world if I made it here. I was really good at TMN at one point. It's really upsetting. I don't, I don't know what happened to me. Like literally, look, the world if I passed TMN, bro. Like Jesus. Well, okay, if I died there, that would have been just as bad. That would have been goddamn curtains I die there from zero, dude. This stream immediately ends if I die there, bro. Dying anywhere in Slim Jim that isn't at the ball time is instantly results in an end stream, by the way. Like actually. I just have like a like a program set up that instantly ends the stream. I don't even have to like, click a button. The moment I'm dead, it just it's over. I was hella nervous, dude. I was more nervous than I've ever been ever playing GD because I hadn't passed 10 minutes in three days. I literally was an ocular miracle 95 nervous, like not even a joke. I finally passed it and I got all nervous because I forgot that my character even went there sometimes. Ugh, I got hella shower brain fog today. I did not make that up. That's so real. Chat, vouch for me. No? You've never gotten out of a shower and like tried to feel like really slow and lethargic. Okay, I guess my brain is just wrong. Looks like I wasn't quirky and relatable enough this time. I also think they're gaslighting me. Like it's literally so real. You guys are just tweaking. Can't believe I use one of my skips on Macabre. I'm like a mega hater, dude. No, I might skip this actually. I don't think I could do this one from a purely mental standpoint. Dude, this level is a cutscene! If I had known everything, I probably would have used it on Celestial Force instead, honestly. That was miserable. The level is such a steep pile of dog ass. Aura is pretty bad. Dude, I literally locked that out of my brain. Oh my god. I must have hated it really bad because I don't even remember playing it. Yeah! I must have straight up deleted it from my memory because I didn't want to think about it, bro. couldn't sleep. I fell asleep at my normal time, like 5 a.m. And then I woke up at like 9 a.m. And above me, I heard like <laughs> for like an hour and a half straight. So eventually I was like, nope, the day's starting now. So I slept for like four hours. It's probably enough. Those people that are telling you you need seven hours of sleep, they're just lying to you. It's all the liberal agenda. They're tricking you. I was like, I'll try to fall back asleep, but I, it just was not happening. And then eventually I fell back asleep and then I don't know what's happening up there. You know, what are you gonna do? Because the golden's been segmented. Oh, good morning! I was so confused as to what this noise was. This is the alarm I set to try to wake up, but I never turned it off. I'm officially awake. I can do this run now. I'm awake. I wasn't awake yet. I hate by the seaside, bro, but it wakes me up. It's like linked in my brain to like, you have to be awake now. But literally, I don't know if you saw my face, it like activated like a fight or flight like response in me, dude. Dude, the most insane thing of all time happened yesterday. Speaking of like random noises that come out of nowhere, dude. Me and Eli were hanging out, like, in this room, and then all of a sudden, we hear from the other room, like, random Chinese speaking or something, like, it's coming from the goddamn, like, apartment. We so confused. We literally just sat there and just stared at each other, like, like, what, what is, we walk out and someone connected to Eli's Bluetooth speaker and started watching some random ass Chinese video. Let me just say that was one of the most jarring things I've ever experienced, because it didn't even sound like a speaker. It just sounded like two Chinese people just, like, talking. No, dude. 79 claims another victim, dude. Did that just happen? Face of an actual idiot, dude. Why would I just do that, dude? Look at this asshole. Why would I just straight fly into a saw? There's no point. To, oh. You know, something interesting about improving in video games is a lot of it isn't decided by you actually getting better, but you deciding that you have gotten better. Does that make any sense? Once you mentally decide that you're better at the game than you used to be, you will just be better at it. Dude, this is really trippy what I'm doing right now. I have my knuckle bent. What? Why is this like easy? I was doing it like this. What is this thing? What is this grip? I have no idea why ship is still controllable like that. I have absolutely no idea. I can only hate so hard. Today's National Sushi Day. Is that true? That's pretty awesome. Dude, do you want to know what the most dangerous thing you have in the world is? Good sushi, because you can't have any other sushi for like a month after that. You ever have like good sushi, and then you have any other sushi, and you're like, why do I even exist at this point? There's literally no point. I was like that when uh, I went to, to Oregon one summer. Oregon and Washington. Oh, the sushi in Washington, not the same as the sushi here. You know, you know what I'm saying? I had really good sushi out in Washington, and then I came back, and I had sushi here, and I was like, oh. oh. No, he's on, on the How? Why yeah, am I on death? Gets to uh, Stop! I can ah! hear you! Why can I hear you? I don't want to talk to you. Zero. <laughs> I thought I said it to definite zero and then undefinite. I don't know. I think it, I think it just presses your game. It doesn't care what the thing says. We're in this attempt. Hey guys. Hey, welcome to this attempt. He is not going to die at here, man.
No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't. I see. I won't. I check like. <laughs> Okay, so every time I die, you hear them for like a half second, and then they disappear again. Every time I die. Okay. Now their voices are my death sound effect. Uh... Cool. It's not even like that was on purpose. There was a 0% chance of me dying there. Bob Fungus, thank you for the $5. Something I often ask myself is, when Zodiac disappears, will Bob Fungus 2 disappear? Who knows? Something I ask myself a lot about my channel list in general. When I'm done with the roulette, how many people will stick around? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Want a break from yes I, I do i do i do i want a break i just had an insane realization i think i figured out why everything feels so weird i don't think it's my brain guys dude 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 this i found it this is the thing dude i was so, i was like why is my brain lagging like what okay me Eli, and mitch were hanging out we're playing gd on the computer and he wanted to use the bluetooth speaker but it was really delayed so he put in the offset to fix it and i didn't realize i never put it back i was just like this is feel this feels really Weird today. Uh, guys, it makes sense now. Okay, good. I thought I suffered like permanent damage or something in my brain. <laughs> like it, everything just makes so much more sense. It's so sensical. How many countries can I name? A good chunk of them. Well, I'm not that good at GeoGuessr as I found out yesterday. Me and Bucky were playing this like GeoGuessr like, like it was like a versus duel thing where you have to guess closer than your opponent and stuff like that. And they're both stupid. So every time we saw a place with like, that looked like a rainforest and there was like text we didn't understand, we're like, it has to be Thailand. This is Thailand. There's one time that we got it like two miles away from the thing. We were we were hyped. We were playing our last round and we were, we had like um, very little health left. We, we were looking at signs. We saw a sign that said Perth, and I was like, oh my god, that's not Australia. So I you know I go to Australia. I start looking. I'm going over to the east side, and every time I try to go to the west, Bucky's like, no 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 no. There's no cities on the west side. Don't go over there. Every time I go over there, and then the round ends. And guess what's over there? Perth. <laughs>
Uh, nope! No words! No words! WHERE DID THAT COME FROM?! I just beat the extreme in roulette. Okay. Sort of thing, dude, I guess. It was one of those moments, dude, I was playing the level and I'm like, you know, you know what would just be crazy right now? What if I just beat the level? Like, that's, literally, my brain did the thing, dude! Dude, the world, if I didn't change my offset and couldn't do it, thank God I didn't die out of the way, bro. Like, I have one of those moments where it's like, if I die, the world ends now. We reach the end of the Extreme Demon Roulette. I can't believe we ever got to an end, ever. I've been doing this since December of 2020, and now it's June 20th, 2022. It took a long time, and we had a lot of obstacles we had to overcome. There were some absolutely terrifying levels we had to do. We had to get whatever on Oro, Digital Descent, Necromancer, levels I did not want to play. I never thought I'd be at the end of it, you know what I mean? It's sort of bittersweet in a way. I know it's like weird to say, like it should be all happy, but anytime I went to the stream, I was like, what can I stream? Oh, I could stream the roulette, you know what I mean? Like it's so weird to be done and have to think about what to do next and honestly i'm not sure what comes next it might be kind of a slower period for me in terms of like interesting ideas because honestly i want to kind of improve at the game right now because i want to get good for return zero so yeah I'm, I'm definitely gonna work on that about 20k of these are old what do we got oh i'd say around 13k new still a lot though thumbs up oh we're talking about zodiac by the way let me just say i really do think zodiac is the best top one we've ever had it is so mentally demanding and i really like that a lot of levels we're getting now are just short like you just grind the muscle memory into your head it's not that impressive it's not that fun to watch it's not that nerve-wracking like no one really cares what happens in it but something like this and, and, and you guys could probably agree with me you feel it you know what i mean i felt it you guys are feeling it as i was playing it you know what i mean it means something because of the hurdles you have to overcome to get somewhere i want to bring back that feeling of like oh my god this matters so much he doesn't get here that often you know what i mean that sort of thing roll the next level <laughs> wait what happens if i what happens when i wait well give me like some congratulations message what happens if i hit done that's so- I should get a good job, come on! Highest percent, 100, thank you. I should get a good job. We got 99 points. We missed one at the very beginning. I am still the first person to have completed the Extreme Demon Roulette. GG. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put something. Heck, we don't care. Extreme Demon Roulette completed after 18. Q. I'm keeping it. Q. That's a nice comment to leave right there. But I actually call Zodiac my hardest. Or, uh, probably not, no. It doesn't hurt my eyes, and most of the hard parts are two times speed. I'd call Kino's harder. Just to me, though. I would never give a list opinion. <laughs> they can't ask if I'll beat something harder than Kino's because it's harder on the list. It's over. That's actually awesome. I really hope I can come up with the concept that you guys are interested in like this again. Honestly, the Extreme New Nolette is probably the smartest thing I ever came up with ever, probably. It wasn't even like a smart thing. It was just like my brain generated it at random. Like, I don't even... It's a good feeling. You, you know, if you worked really hard on something, obviously I just want to jump into the next thing. Like, I, you know, I'm, I'm excited to like continue pushing. But right now, I'm just like, man, I just did that, you know? I can't really put it into words. But it's just like, when, when you finally achieve something you've been like trying to get after a while like this, you just kind of want to bask in it for a little while.